December 29th, 2013. I got a call from a customer of mine. They got a hot air furnace. Um, above a little carport they have an issue with. So I'm going to go over there and see what's going on with it. I've been there before a few times. So I've never been up in that carport, but I know there's a little hot air furnace up there. So let's we'll see if we can figure out what's going on with it. No piano, no heat call. Looks like that hot surface at night it might be bad. We'll check it. Crawling up here is be like an animal. I'm thinking that's what it is. Check it. Not getting anything through it. I'm thinking that's bad. Let's see how it's all gray. It's definitely a problem. Forms, it's high. <sighs> what I'll do is I'll put this, plug this in here and run it through a cycle, see if I'm getting 110. <clears throat> Let's see. Hit 110 if that thing's gonna send power to that ignite. That ignite won't look good. Transformer there. Got my black hook to the neutral. It's in the vacuum switch, not pulling in somehow. This side. Someone's been up here to change new lines and whatnot, so. That can switch 
branches are pulling in. Alright, I found a problem. Right where that hole's connected in there was some dirt on it. In that connection, I pulled it out, cleaned it out with a piece of wire. I got my vacuum switch on over here now. And I got it on um, continuity, you know, to make noise, almost to make the noise when I start it up. Pulling in now. But that's what the problem was. But I'll put it back together and we'll fire it up. I'm gonna change the soft surface igniter. If you can see it, it's all kind of like mucky. I'm gonna change that on here. So that's the deal. Working now. A little bit of dirt in there, that's all it takes. Really tight quarters up here. Wish I could get better shots, but that's it. We put that back together and we'll run it through a cycle and see if we're getting any power to my hot surface igniter. Oh, you guys can see the hot, hot surface igniter, but see how it's got a little crack in it and it's drawing high ohms. It's like 83. So. It would probably still work, but I'm going to change it anyway. See that crack in there? I don't know if you can see it. But it's just starting to crack. I got these in the truck. Crawl out, of, crawl out of here and then back in. That's the hottest part. Let me get one of these. And we'll put it back together and fire it up. Alright guys, the new one's reading 70 ohms. That's better. That one looks a lot better. This is the old one. Change it. some stuff stuck in it and this hot surface igniter would have still work but it's kind of like on its last leg so I changed it. Look at the heat. Just button this thing back up. This cabinet back together will be good. Alright guys, thanks for watching.